with the Vino, I think you know you've got a family-run business, but now we're scaling up, uh, and we've got the financial capabilities to do so. And there's not a, there's not a whole lot of silver plays left, and we think we're one of the good ones. Welcome back to the Stockpole Silver Symposium 2021 in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. We've got Nathan Hart, he's the CFO of Vino Silver. Vino trades as ASM on the Toronto Stock Exchange and the NYSE. Nathan, appreciate you spending the time here and looking forward to an update on the Vino. So, uh, Thanks for having me. Again, yeah, appreciate you coming down to, to lovely Coeur d'Alene here. A lot of silver around here. Uh, a lot of it. The Vino's used to a lot of silver. So uh, for those investors maybe who didn't catch you here and maybe want to watch this, uh, give a little update on the company, please. Sure. Uh, so Vino has been pretty active over the last uh, year or so. Uh, we just restarted production in June, actually, and we're trying to get back up to our regular run rate of 3, 000, or three million silver equivalent ounces a year. And we're hoping to do that next year, 2022. Yeah. So uh, let's lay the day-to-day -day out here. Investors like uh, action, obviously, putting numbers on the board. You yeah. also got a little blue sky, too. So why don't, you, why don't you give us a little indication of what's going on here? Yeah, so on the blue sky side of things, uh, we've done 12,000 meters of drilling about three different target areas. Some looking for some high-grade silver. Um, we're doing some, re some resource definition drilling deep, some areas of the mine that have never been drilled before, even after all these years. And so we're really excited. We've got some results that came out in July, and we're hoping to put out some more assays soon. And that's where we've been, that's where we've been spending our time and money. Excellent, yeah. A little soft market right now. Um, you know, I don't know how that affects you guys. Is it playing at all? No, I mean, we've, uh, you know, February 2021, every saw, everyone saw what happened with silver prices in the silver market. So um, we, we took that opportunity to cash up a bit and we've got over 25 million in the bank as of now. So the soft market doesn't affect us on the day-to-day -day side of things. Our balance sheet is stronger than ever and we're putting that money back into the ground. Yeah. So for having a chat here, uh, December 31st, talking about the year, how did it go? Mixed reviews. I mean, like I said, so Financially, I mean, as a CFO, I'm happy. We've got cash in the bank and things are good on that front of things. Um, other positives are we're back in production and we're ramping up towards 2,500 tons a day, which is, which is great, you know. The mill's in good shape. Uh, we've done a lot of upgrades that we're working on and, you know, exploration. That's, that's the future for us. Yeah. My favorite question here, what makes you different? Vino, a lot of opportunities out there. Vino, a little different. Layout wide in motion. Yeah, a little, a, a little different for sure. So, I mean, Avino's been around over 50 years. Uh, we've got a great story, a great history. Uh, we've got over, over hundreds, hundreds of years of experience on our management and board. Um, we've survived it all and we keep, we keep coming out the other side. And with Avino, I think, you know, you've got a family run business, but now we're scaling up uh, and we've got the financial capabilities to do so. And there's not, a, there's not a whole lot of silver plays left. And we think we're one of the good ones. Nathan Hart. CFO, Vino Silver Mines. That's ASM on the big board at Toronto Stock Exchange and the NYSE. Nathan, appreciate you taking the time and thanks for coming to Coeur d'Alene. Thanks for having me. It's a great show. Thank you.